Welcome to this brief guide on how to display multiple time zones in Outlook. As we live and work in a global economy, knowing when is the appropriate time to send a calendar invite out for all of our attendees around the world can be a bit of a pain. So today I'm going to show you how to display multiple time zones in your Outlook calendar. Here you can see in my calendar, I currently only have my Sydney time zone, but I'm gonna show you two ways to add additional time zones. The first is the normal way, where we would select the file menu and then hover our mouse all the way down to the bottom and select options. From the Outlook options pane, we then need to select calendar and scroll about two thirds of the way down this page in order to find our time zone options located here. Now that is the normal way. We're gonna cancel out of here, and now I'm now gonna show you a faster way. Directly from your calendar, simply right click on your time zone, and in the context menu, select change time zone. This will open up the Outlook options directly to the calendar submenu, and it will also scroll right down straight to the option for time zones. Much faster. Now, in order to add a secondary time zone, it's as simple as clicking the checkbox right next to show a second time zone. Now you can simply click into the label field and type in the label for your second time zone. Then selecting the drop down menu will allow you to select the appropriate time zone that you would like to keep track of. In this instance, I'm going to select Auckland Wellington. And now I can select my third time zone, but one of the things you may have noticed about my secondary time zone is that I manually typed in Auckland. So say for instance, I had a colleague in Saskatchewan named Fred, I can simply put into the label Fred. It doesn't have to be a location. This can make it much easier for you to understand exactly whose time zones you're selecting. Selecting okay, will apply those time zones. And now I can see I have Fred, Auckland and Sydney for me. This makes it much easier at a glance for me to be able to potentially book in a calendar invite for Friday at this time slot and I can see exactly what time it will be for all of these people. And it looks to me like it's a good time for all of us. It's not outside of anybody's work hours. If I wanna remove any of these time zones or change them up, I simply right click, select change time zone, come back to my time zone options. And then if I want, I can click the button that says swap time zones to quickly cycle them through. So now Auckland is the primary time zone. Clicking it again will make Fred the primary time zone. And once more, back to where we started. And to remove any time zones, I simply untick the box next to that time zone, select OK, and that time zone is now gone from my calendar. And that is how you add multiple time zones in Outlook. I hope you found this tip extremely useful and it makes setting up meetings in the future that much easier. And I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to check out the channel. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.